So for today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this little effects where different objects start to uh, pop out from different directions. So let's go into Sony Vegas and basically you can do the first part with Twixter if you want to slow down your clip. Uh, but if you don't have Twixter, then we're just going to use an image. So go to the part of your video where you want the effect to happen and go to your project video properties and set it to 720p and go to your preview and set it to best and full and then go save snapshot to file go to your desktop and save it now the effect is about the one I did in the video sample is about 20 frames long and what you want to do is drag your image down onto the same video track and shorten it to 20 frames okay and then join the two clips together the image and the video clip and then insert two video tracks now what we're gonna do is get this clip I mean image and hold control and drag upwards to duplicate it and each effect is going to be separated by about five frames so I'm just going to go to the first five frames get the second image shorten it and it go to the ten frames and shorten it and next thing you want to do is uh, basically pick out different objects you want to pop out uh, it could be anything uh, since there's only two objects I want to mask these two doors right here I'm only going to have three images, three of the same image, two on top, and one is going to be the reference image. So go to the first image, click the event pan crop button, and click mask. And I'm just going to mask this little door right here. There you go. And for the second or actually third image, I'm going to do the same thing, but this time I'm going to pick a different object. So let's mask this little other door right here. And both and 25, okay. And basically you can use the crop option to kind of uh, pop out the door. Except it doesn't really give you a lot of freedom, you have to do, do more work trying to get that effect. So go to your top images, and then click, go to compositing mode and click 3D source alpha. And what's this going to do is that if you go, go back to the default option and enable 3D source alpha, it's basically going to give you a Z orientation. Now the Z if you work with After Effects or any kind of 3D program, it's basically uh, zooming in and out. So if you put it to a negative number, it's gonna pop out more, as you see here. And so that's what we're gonna be doing to kind of pop out the effect. So let's reset it to zero and for the first effect it's about five frames so go forward to five frames create a keyframe and then go forward two frames more and then go to your Z option and put a negative number probably around 150 and then next what you want to do is mean, since the effect uh, kind of zooms in your image kind of goes uh, to the left or to the right and you want to make sure that there's no uh, repeating images right here so what you want to do is go to your X position and if you move it to a higher number 80 it's gonna go that way so you want to put it to a negative number a really small negative number And then after you're done, you want to go forward about uh, two or three more frames until the next uh, effect happens. 
pretty keyframe and then just reset all of the Z and uh, X position. And when you play through, you see this little effect popping out. And basically you just repeat that for every other image and object. So that's basically it. I hope you guys like this tutorial. If this helped you, please subscribe, comment, and rate my videos, and tell other people about my channel, and I'll see you guys next time.